Hey, it's Alicia Little. What if I told you that there was a ChatGPT Chrome extension that could not only transcribe and summarize a YouTube video for you, but with the right hack, it could also write a comment for that YouTube video that would make it seem like you not only watched the video, but that you had an amazing takeaway from that YouTube video? Well, I'm gonna show you exactly what the Chrome extension is and how to hack it to make it comment with a great comment just for you. Let's get into it in this video. Hey everybody, it's Alicia. I'm gonna show you one of my favorite Chrome extensions. It's called Glasp and you can see it right here at glasp.co, so glasp.co. Now, the thing that I love about glass.co, it's really a few things. Number one is when you sign up for an account, it'll ask you like what type of content that you like. So on your glass home page, it'll pull in topics for you, which is really great. So you get some really good topics that you can read about. But when you are searching the web and reading articles, so here's an article that I like. And as I'm reading content that I like that I might want to include into a presentation in the future, I'm saying to myself, you know what? I want to highlight this content right here because I might want to use it into the, in the future. So I'm going to highlight it using this highlight tool here. So right now, Glasp is this, it's right here open on my, can you see it right there? <laughs> open on my toolbar. So this pop-up that you see here with the highlights is glass. I'm going to click on the yellow and it's actually saving it in my highlights note notes in glass that just popped up right there. So let's see if I want to highlight anything else. There we go. And I'm going to highlight that and it's going to keep that in a note section and then it's going to, I'm going to highlight this and keep it in a note section. Now, if I go to my Glasp account and I am in my highlights, let me just refresh really quick, click quickly here. And in my article section, now I've got two articles that are saved and my most important notes about those articles are right here and highlighted. So I've got quick access to them. I can put them in my presentations and PowerPoints or different things that I'm creating. I absolutely love that. It has you can favorite your highlights. You can even highlight in the Kindle, pull in your Kindle, save some things there and highlight YouTube videos and that sort of thing as well. But talking about YouTube, let me show you how I've taken this tool and hacked it just a little bit to make YouTube commenting so easy. So if we go over to YouTube and I've just found a video here that I like by Alex Hermosi, 17 conversations that made me a millionaire. So you can see Glasp right here. It's going to give me a transcript. And by clicking on the chat GPT icon right here, it will create a summary of the transcript for me. Now, what I can do is actually click on the up and down arrow. So you see me clicking on the up and down arrow. And I'm doing that. I'm clicking on the down arrow so I can get to this gear and go into user settings. So I'm going to open up my Glasp user settings right here. And this is the command. Let me make it a little bit bigger. This is the customized prompt for Glasp to give you a summary of the YouTube transcript. So playing around with it just a little bit, I was like, I don't really want a summary of the transcript. What I really want is it is for it to write a comment for me so I can comment on this YouTube video. So let me show you how to do that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this prompt for the summary and I'm gonna paste my prompt and I'll read that to you right now. So my prompt says, write a casual comment for this YouTube video that shows that I watched the whole video and enjoyed it. In the comment, include one key takeaway and a casual thanks for creating the video. All right, so what I'm doing is in the Glasp user settings for my Glasp, I'm changing it. I'm changing the settings so that it will create a comment for me instead of a summary. If you want it to create a summary, fine, but I want to comment on other people's videos, which drives traffic back to mine. So, all right, let's 
which drive traffic back to my YouTube channel. So now that I changed the YouTube settings, I could see if there's anything else I wanted to change. I'm gonna close that, go back to this YouTube video. Let me just refresh since I changed the settings, refresh, and then let's let the ad come out real quick. Skip the ad, perfect, here's the video. And then I'm going to go down right here is glasp and it's transcript and summary and let's click on the button that would normally generate a summary and if all is right it should generate a comment instead and it did it look at that great video i watched the whole thing and learned a lot one key takeaway for me was the importance of making a decision and not waiting for more information. Thanks for creating this video and sharing your experiences and lessons learned. Woo! So now I'm going to copy this and then I am going to uh, add a comment, add the comment here. And so then I can change it. So if I wanted, if I just want to say I learned a lot, one key takeaway was for me is the importance of making a decision, not waiting for more information. Thanks for creating this video and sharing your experiences and lesson learned. And then I can just, I'm going to say so much value. Thanks, Alex. And uh, that's it. And then I'm going to press comment. And then I've got my comment already done. <laughs> and I didn't even have to watch the video. So get it? Does that make sense? That's how to comment. That's how I'm using Glasp really quickly. Anyway, Glasp has a lot of features. I hope that you check it out as a really cool extension, another chat GPT extension. Again, it's at glasp.co. And it, as of right now, it is completely free. One of the other things is in this calendar that it has right here, you can look back and say, okay, what did I highlight on this date? And it'll show you what you highlighted on this date. And it also has an ask digital me. So the different things that you are saving in GLASP, it's like learning about you from that. But anyway, bye.